Gone. Well, hello, friends. Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. It is the morning of day number eight, and we've got some stuff to talk about as usual before we head out. So the first thing I want to do is get some of these pipe bombs crafting. We used some of these for the horde last night, and I really like them, so we got six of those going. And I would like to mine some more coal and nitrate powder before the end of the day so we can craft some more gunpowder so we can craft some more of these, because I like them. Uh, I also spent our two levels last night because I was doing just a little bit of digging down in our mine shaft. I put one point into Miner 69er and one point into Motherload. So we're just mining a little bit more efficiently and getting more resources as we mine. We also completed our drum magazine mod, so we're going to go ahead and throw that in our AK right now. And that should pretty drastically increase its ammo capacity. It was 32, I believe. And it's up to 62. So pretty nice there. We're going to throw this Crippler mod back in our mod box. Uh, but definitely hang on to that because it's a, it's a nice mod. And I also implemented that XP multiplier that we were talking about on day one. So we are up to 150% XP right now. Uh, as opposed to baseline obviously being 100%. And again, uh, the reason for this is that I want to eliminate that sort of mid-game lull that I always run into where things just aren't really scary enough for my taste. Uh, the, the zombies showing up just don't really feel like a threat. So by turning up the XP, we are increasing our game stage and causing the hordes that are coming at us every night to become larger and larger uh, much more quickly. So ideally around day 30, things are gonna start to get really, really sketchy. And, uh, or, you know, even sooner. But yeah, that's the general idea with XP multipliers, just to make things scary and keep things interesting. Uh, we've also got, we crafted out about 1,500 of this concrete mix. And these bottom two levels, as well as this front area right here, are going to be the blocks that are taking the most damage. So why don't we get the rest of this bottom level upgraded. And we this is concrete, so we do have to wait for it to dry. But hopefully later today we can upgrade all of this to reinforced concrete so let me just finish going around here and upgrading this beautiful that took about 500 so we will have more than enough to reinforce everything that we just upgraded we also just leveled up uh reinforcing or upgrading blocks to concrete and reinforced concrete is a really really good source of experience um just so as you know and as for today's plan, let me throw this guy back in here. I'm just going to be keeping my stone axe with me for now. Let's just pop these guys in there as well so we can get going. We do have a buried supplies quest, but I am not overly worried about doing that right now. We're going to do that if we have time at the end of the day. But right now we're going to head over to Bob's Boars and Carl's Corn, uh, which is a pretty sizable POI that... Uh, as the name suggests, is filled with boars, and because we are so low on food, that is going to be our mission for the day, is to fill up our food coffers. We've also got some nitrate powder right here. Let's just take care of old Karen here real quick. Oh, man. Feeling strong. Feeling strong. So nitrate powder. I want to get just a bit of nitrate powder and coal so we can make some more gunpowder this evening. We don't need a crazy amount. Let's just grab what's on the surface and move on. All right, we got about 500 there, which is just about what I was looking to get. And there's two coal nodes right next to our home, so we're just going to grab that on the way home. So this is the lake house that we are passing right now. And that we did on, I want to say it was like episode four. So if you just drive past that to the west just a little bit, you'll come over to this barn and to Bob's Boars and Carl's Corn. So that is where we are. Let's just deal with little Karen over here. Look at that, 619 XP for a regular zombie kill. This is going to take some adjusting too. Uh, I've never turned up the XP like this before. So, you know, this is just an experiment. Think of, you know, this, this season one kind of as a pilot where... We're just testing stuff out for the future. And I think this is going to be a good idea, the XP multiplier, but I would like to know what you guys think. Um, yeah. And this guy, uh, 
the big fat tourist guys. That model is new, as of very recently. They're also one of the hardest hitting zombies in the game. You don't want to catch those hands. Let's put it that way. Oh god. Please, please fall. I love our little AK. Oh, you know what? I was thinking there was a, uh, a pig that spawned over here, but I must be thinking of a different farmhouse POI. Uh, so maybe, depending on how the time is looking, we might hit this place too. Before we head home. Oh, little bunny, how are you that fast? But we just need to get inside and get to Luton. So heading around back, you'll see a big red cage like this. Uh, the floor... Uh, that metal floor there, it's actually hollow underneath that, and that will take you straight to the main loot. Which I think we're actually going to do, because there's sort of a boss in this POI named Grace, and she is a giant pig. And the thing about Grace is that she'll, like, two-shot me. <laughs> and, uh, if you want to go and fight Grace the regular way, you know, work your way through the whole dungeon, if you will and then fight her at the end. The thing is, is you have to kind of drop down right into her room, which is extremely dangerous because if she aggros, the room is like sealed off. And uh, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to get eaten by a pig and have this playthrough end. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the end. We're going to kill Grace safely. And then we're going to go back to the beginning and loot this place like normal. Uh... Scrap those for the iron. Got another triple pocket mod, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and throw that on our helmet. We are now more than halfway opened up in our inventory. Um, let's also bring this level 6 bone knife down. Throw our serrated blade mod on there. And we do actually need to start collecting a little plant fiber. Not that it's difficult to find. Uh, to make those pipe bombs, they do require plant fiber. So that's Grace down there. And normally you fall in to that room from the ceiling and she can aggro and just come over and wreck your face. Uh, so she's not going to be able to, in theory, get through this wall here. But I'm just going to throw up some frame blocks just in case her wall does break. We'll have a little bit of something stopping her from getting to us. Let's just start off with an AK shot for big damage. We're just going to try... Not waste ammo and kill her as quickly as possible. Ideally, I want to get headshots here for obvious reasons. Go into the light. Got her. 1800 XP and almost 60 rounds of 762. Wasting that much ammo. Well, I wouldn't call it wasted, that's the wrong word. Using that much ammo feels bad, but. It's worth it. She gives 100 meat, although we might have accidentally shot her one too many times and damaged her body a little bit, but we're still going to get a ton of meat from this. Still got 92, so we accidentally lost 8 meat by shooting her after she died, so you do want to be careful, but not a big deal. We're going to get plenty of meat up in Bob's pores. We also want to splat all these little bodies for the bones. His bones are very, very useful. All right, let's get back to the bike. All right, let's toss all this good stuff in there. And I went ahead and walked the perimeter and got all the other good stuff that I could see. We did find a level two baseball bat, which is arguably better than the level one wooden club, but I actually really like the wooden club. Kind of like the, the stone axe. I think it's kind of underrated. It gets replaced too easily. You know, it's got a really low stamina cost and fast attack speed, although its damage isn't as high as the baseball bat or the steel club. I still like it, and we have two really good modifiers for it right now, so maybe if that was a level 3 baseball bat, I would strongly consider it, but as it is, we're going to stick with the old clubby club. And this is Bob's Boars. There's our first boar friend right there. Let's try and find something to stand on, because these guys do actually hit very hard. Hopefully we can... 
one-shot them with the AK. Does not look like that's going to be the case. Unfortunately. I wish we had... Jesus. I wish we had a gun that had a bit more front-loaded damage, like a shotgun right now. But we're just going to have to make it work, because we're already here, <laughs> and such is life. Let's try out our new crossbow. Ooh, that looked painful. Oh god. I almost forgot they do damage. <laughs> Let's just upgrade that block. Can I... Boop him in the snoot while I'm up here? Doesn't look like it. He's just a little bit too short. Let's see how many crossbow bolts this takes. Because I don't want to burn through all my 762. I want to save that for when we need it. Uh, that looked, seemed like it only took about five shots. So that's pretty good. That's better than I was hoping for. So, yeah, I think we'll just use the crossbow to take these guys out moving forward. And we are finally at a point where we are two-shotting cobblestone and cement, which is just a really good feeling. You know, the one shot is the best, but it's going to be a while till we get there. But it's really nice. Just speeds up the process of clearing rooms like this quite a bit. Oh, some lucky looter goggles. And hey, these ones are plus four. Uh, they only come in plus three and plus four. They got nerfed a couple patches ago. Uh, so we finally got some plus fours, which is very cool. Not a huge upgrade, but, you know, I'm a mid-maxer at heart. You know, I don't think I've ever noticed that before. There is a backpack up on top of this very first cage. Let's see if we can... Oh, God. It's an angry pig. What happened? Is that even hitting him, or is that hitting the stairs? Shit, yeah, that is hitting the stairs. Bama. Uh, let's check this backpack real quick. Some knuckle wraps? Sure. Also sounds like we got some zombie friends. So things are getting a little bit... sketchy. Let me see if I can open up a path to be able to hit our bovine friend over here. The zombies are going to get through that door eventually, and we'll just deal with them when they do. What the fuck hit me? Okay, that's scary. Was it the pig? Did he hit me up all the way up here? Or is there something above me that hit me? I don't know, but I don't like that. Alright. Hamlet's dead. Got a zombie friend, but I should be fine to just jump down here deal with her. One downside of this POI is that a lot of the pigs are in cages like this, which, uh, on the plus side, <laughs> you can one-shot them through the bars, but it's kind of awkward trying to... Come on. Don't do this to me. It's kind of awkward trying to harvest the meat. And there's a damn door in the way. Fortunately, it's not like this is day one for us, and we've already got an iron pickaxe, which helps a lot with that. And I don't think I'm going to be wrenching the parts in this kitchen, or the appliances. We're just kind of past that point. Well, we got the taco recipe over there. Fortunately, we can't use it because it requires cornmeal, and, you know, fuck cornmeal. But yeah, I think we're kind of past the point where we're going to be wrenching appliances unless I specifically need parts, either mechanical or electrical. Oh, we got the arrow rest mod schematic. That's pretty cool. Uh, I do want to do a no-guns playthrough at some point. And uh, just use bows, crossbows, melee weapons explosives, that kind of thing. I think that would be a lot of fun. So every time I see those mods that are like specifically for bows and stuff like that, it just kind of gets me excited. Let's go ahead and see if we can one-shot this guy. Um, it really makes me wonder, why does... Why can you sometimes one-shot something? Like we one-shot that pig in the cage before, right? Why not this one? I don't get it. Like, the damage in this game seems to be on some sort of scale. Although the tooltips imply that the damage is static and always the same. So, I don't know. Maybe if you uh, know the answer to that, you could let me know. Because 
I'm curious. It could also be like a proximity thing. So maybe like if we're closer, it might do more damage. Well, apparently not. But eh, it could still be it. A single test is not scientific. You must repeat the process. There we go. Thank you for your cooperation in this endeavor, Mr. Ball. Ah, yes. Good positioning. Just as planned. I say good positioning, but this is like the one cage in the whole POI that has a hole in the top, so... Ah. <laughs> you love to hate to love to see it or something like that. I don't know. I think I forgot a box in here with some 762. Don't mind if I do. We're already up to 270 meat. And, uh, oh my god, 360 bones. That is awesome. I love this POI. You gotta, you gotta hit your Bob's boars for all that meaty, bony goodness. We definitely woke some folks up, but I don't think any of them are able to get out just yet. How many of you are in there? Just one? You might as well throw frames down just to be on the safe side. We got a chemistry station right here. It is broken, but we can take it apart for the iron. We got some flowers out of it. How nice. Uh, nothing too interesting in there. I believe this is going to take us outside and around to explore the rest of this floor. So let's just grab all the goodies in here before we move on. Anything in this garbage? Plastic. Fantabulous. Let's grab just a little bit more plastic since we've got some. Why not get the rest of it? And then we just... Hey, oh. Zoop. oh man! Aggressive! You should have hit me there. You got robbed, sir. And even though we're doing pretty well financially, I always wrench these types of beds. Well, all beds, really. Because springs are a finite resource. You cannot craft springs. Let's throw a block down here and hop up. There we go. And I just looked at the clock. It's already hour 15. This place is so damn big. We're not even halfway done with it yet. Uh, having to deal with all these pigs is definitely slowing us down, but, you know, it's the reason why we're here, so we're going to keep doing it. Let's kill these. I want to say these are the last two. Harvest them up and then try and pick up the pace. What the... F There's a goddamn zombie hit me through the wall. You gotta be kidding me. God damn cheerleader. Yeah, I hope you hit your nose on the way down. That looked painful. Alright, let's hop out that window and hop up in here. Get some junk in my way. Get rid of that glass. Don't need it. Just a cheerleader. You can handle her just fine. You asshole. Oh, look at all this good stuff to dig up. Let's go. Right up here is where we knock that cheerleader's ass down. We should be able to sneak back here and check this weapons bag. It's a little bit tricky to get up here, but hopefully it was worth the effort. Ooh, we got a pipe bomb, another level 1 AK, and some 762. Definitely worth the effort. All right, looks like we pissed off Karen in the bathroom. Let's dig up this goodness real quick. Open up the door and see what great Karen guardeth. Oh, we got some fort bites. I've never actually used these. Damage mitigation plus 50%. Interesting. For two minutes. I don't know what kind of situation you would actually find yourself in where you're like, you know what? I need 50% damage mitigation right now for the next two minutes, so I'm going to pop these. But the effect certainly is potent. I feel like those would get more use if it was, like, a less potent effect, but for a much longer duration. Like, if you were about to raid a really hard POI, and you had something that did, like, 10 or 15% damage mitigation for 30 minutes. Uh, before we jump down there, let's go back and check this room. Anybody in here? No, but we do have an ammo pile. Oh, with a level 5 wooden club. Fabulous. Well, that makes me happy, because a level 5 wooden club, we can put another modifier in there. And I would love to put a 
uh, burning shaft modifier in there. We don't have one yet, but we are going to eventually. So that makes me very happy. Let's put our mods back in there. Did we come from downstairs? No, okay, okay, there's two different paths downstairs. There's either the stairway right here, or there was that jump that we were looking at, which goes down to that. Hi! Back up, please. I was completely in control the entire time. <laughs> yeah, so there's a way down right there, and the staircase. That had me confused. Let's bust out this front door, dump some stuff into our bike real quick, and get back to it. And right here we have something called super corn. Now you can actually take this stuff, and... No, you can eat it. Food, health, no chance of dysentery. I never actually... It never really occurred to me that you could eat super corn before. But you can, uh, like, grow a bunch of super corn and use that as an alternate source of making glue. As opposed to using bones, which are a finite resource. Hunter mod schematic? Yeah, I'll actually learn that. We might craft one of those. I like the hunter mods because you can put them into, like, any tool or any weapon. And all weapons and tools are better with mods in them. So even if the mod, like the hunter mod, just increases damage against uh, living targets, so it's, you know, it's primarily for hunting or for PvP. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't help you against zombies at all. You know, if you put it on your wrench, it's not like you're using your wrench for PvP or to hunt with, but it makes your wrench better. So it's a useful tool to have a couple of. You can just kind of pop them in where you have room for and uh, get little bonuses that way. We've got two painkillers there. And another destroyed chemistry station will take this one apart as well. Chem stations aren't really as worth taking apart as workbenches are. They only give you like three forged steel or forged iron. But I don't know. I, I think I'm just kind of a OCD type. I can't help it. I see a bench that's not working and I'm like, I want those parts. Give them to me. And ouch. You big bitch. That hurt. Stay down. Uh, why don't we... Yeah, let's pop a painkiller here. No reason not to. We got more than enough. Okay, nothing of note in there, but we did get one good water, so let's go ahead and drink that right now. And keep on moving, because it is getting real late in the day. And I think this cement and cobblestone is going to be our only priority right now. It's really hard to see an AC unit and not wrench it. I might still wrench it. AC units are great. But these uh, these piles of cement are going to be very importante. Ooh, 10 forged iron. Come on, big money, big money. Another level. That's actually really nice. Another level 6 axe. Fortunately, we already got our level 6. Uh, I just can't help myself. When I see an AC unit, I have to take it apart. Not good. It sounds like we have a wandering horde outside. That's a cop. Oh, shit. Um, what do we want to do here? We need to deal with these guys. Let's, uh... Let's retreat. That cop just blew up. They're gonna come to this door in a bit, so let's loot this room. Is anybody in here? That's a steel door, so it has a ton of hit points. It's going to take them a long time to get through that. We'll deal with that in a second. Let's just focus on getting this all looted. We could go through that cave and leave through Grace's entrance, but I ain't one to run from a fight. I ain't about that life. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Let our friends in. And the cop exploded. He's the real danger. That was actually, I think, the first cop we've seen so far. They, in addition to hitting very hard and having a ton of hit points, uh, have a ranged attack. So, you know, they're a bit more interesting than your typical zombie. All right, they are dealt with. Let's bust through here. Oh, no. Still got a big mama. Come on, girl. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. I don't want to take damage here. All right, we're chilling. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back, thick girl. Let's just get her in the head. Got a level 2 hunting rifle, 6 molotovs, 
and some 762. That is an awesome, awesome loot bag. This is all we have left to dig up right here in this corner. So let's do that very, very quickly and get the hell back home. Good God, there's more of you out there. Can't a man just go home in peace? Shit, we are out of stamina. Let's just deal with her like that. And where is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax, baby, relax. We need to get out of here, man. We got one hour to get home. All right, what do you guys think? Do we have time to dig up some coal? Ha <laughs> psych, I gotcha. No, we gotta go home. We gotta go home. I think, unfortunately, all of that concrete is still wet because we haven't been in proximity to it. It only dries when you're near to it, which is hopefully a bug that they're gonna work on in the future. Um, but that's okay, it will dry over the course of the evening. I'm not super worried about it. It still has plenty of hit points right now. Let's go back out of the motorcycle, see if we can get the last of our goodies, we can. I'm gonna try and get all organized before the horde gets here, get some food in my stomach, and uh, just get ready. We got 4,000 cement today. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and eat this meat stew. I'm saving it for a special occasion, and today, is that occasion. That hatch is closed. Uh, our concrete is starting to harden, which is good. And I know I'm forgetting things. I haven't had quite enough time to get ready. Let's go ahead and grab... Where is my iron? Okay, I've got iron here. Got some cobble. Oh, there's, there's all my materials. I was wondering what was going on. Making me nervous. Let's bring down the blunderbuss. We need to burn through the rest of this ammo. No sense in letting it go to waste. Oh, God. Okay, see, that's not good. The hit points are lower uh, on the drying concrete. So, <laughs> zombies are actually going for the concrete right now, which is not good. We need to keep an eye on all of this while it hardens. Hopefully, maybe if we drop the hatch down, that will convince them to come over here. This is fine, all part of the plan. <laughs> I really, really should have come home sooner. You need to die. Let's try and take care of that dog. Let me soften him up. Let's check our perimeter, see if anything is breaking. No, I think we're good. Let's go for another explosive. Sure, our hatch doesn't break. If that breaks, we are in very serious trouble. Let's not forget we have stamina to burn. This is going very well so far. There are so many dogs out there, but it is very good to know that our dog defense system is working. Last one out there. Big money, big money. Easy, dude. Absolutely in love with these pipe bombs. They do so much more damage than I remember them doing in the past. Maybe it's just because with this particular base design, which of course is temporary, the zombies are just so condensed that you really get really good value out of it. Let's go for a Molotov here.
they actually managed to break one layer of our hatch. Fortunately, with the nail gun, it only takes one click to upgrade, so you don't have to fight against the damage to try and get your hatch upgraded again. Man, they are really, really starting to get up there and damage. This hatch has to be repaired like every 15 seconds. It's crazy. Uh, we are going to have to start working on our actual horde base very soon. Not necessarily tomorrow. We can probably get by in here for a couple more days. But this hatch is just not going to be adequate. There's just too many guys piled up around it dealing damage all at once. Uh, let's go for one more Molotov here. I want to wanna get this night done. I got other things to do other than slap zombies in the face. You know what I'm saying? Looks like we are getting down to the end of it, which is nice. We've got five skill points to spend. Uh, the XP multiplier is having, you know, playing a big factor in that, but you gotta remember that this is also the day that we started upgrading to concrete. And upgrading to concrete gives you a ton of XP, so that's also a really big factor as to why we got so much experience today. And of course, it's Horde every night. This is the largest Horde we have faced so far, as it is cumulative like that um, but might as well go ahead and start getting these reinforced at least the important ones because I definitely want these to be dried by tomorrow evening's horde I don't want to have the same situation where I've got wet concrete and the zombies are trying to beat their way through it because it's the shortest path all right that is good let's go ahead and put our lucky looter goggles back on and deal with our bird friend here. Another thing I'd like to see them make a small change is like animals that you can skin, like dogs. You can get tons of dogs on Horde Knight. It would be nice if they would make it so the bodies despawn slower, because like I would love to have gotten all the leather and all the bones from those dogs that we just killed, but they're gone. And there's really just nothing you can do about that. Remove 20% more arrows and bolts from targets? Hell yeah. I hate having to craft more arrows and bolts. That's just fantastic. We're getting some air ammo. Getting a ton of old world cash. Which is nice. Nothing game changing there, but you know, we got some coin, we got some ammo. And a nice book. And speaking of which, we need to craft some more of these iron crossbow bolts. Let's throw a little bit of wood in the forge if I can find my wood. There it is. My inventory is all jacked up. Let's make 50 of these arrowheads. All right, I want to make a candle to replace the one that got broken right over here. We might stick these up higher so that they don't get exploded in the coming nights, or maybe we'll put them on a different wall. I also want to make some more pipe bombs, as many as we can with what we have. So we're gonna craft seven more. That should be enough for tomorrow night. And we'll definitely want to go ahead and mine some coal uh, to go along with the nitrate powder that we mined today so we can make as much gunpowder as possible to make more of those explosives. There's another hundred. That should be very, very good. And we have got some iron arrowheads here. Let's go ahead and make some iron crossbow bolts to replace the ones that we used up today. And let's go ahead and throw down this candle. Why don't we just put it right there for now? Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be good for today, guys. Uh, I'm going to look through our skill points, see where we're going to spend those points, and come up with a plan for tomorrow. And uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love your faces, and I will see you here next time. Bye.